One of the most important things I learned from Dan Pena, uh, you can check out my videos with him. I have a playlist called Dan Pena, or just write Robbie Frank Dan Pena, or just write Dan Pena <laughs> if you're just in interested in him. So one of the most important things I learned from him was how to use people. How you use, and I don't mean use like, you know, use them for your advantage. <laughs> like, I mean, how to leverage people as your biggest resource. So he talks about leveraging other people and other people's money to become successful. He says these are the two levers you use to pry you know, the, the handle of uh, success. So I might have got it wrong. But anyway, I'm going to talk here about leveraging other people. So I've leveraged other people in many, many instances in my life. In this instance, like in this period, I'm doing it less, but I have a ton of experience doing it and I can tell you what happens. So one example is when I want to, when I make a video uh, and I really want it to go big, I always have a list of contacts whom I can contact and be like, hey man, uh, this video is you know, really awesome, please share it for me, do me a favor. Especially when I was in Israel where it was local and it was really useful for Facebook, but I don't really use Facebook right now. So again, it's less uh, relevant, but I, what I used to do was post a video, call 20 people, 20 people in 20 minutes. Like, hey man, what's up? Yeah, uh, up, you know, uh, you're good? Oh, okay, awesome. Look, I've uploaded a video, it's really good. Um, I'd love if you could share it, it will help me a lot. Um, and also you should watch it. And they're like, oh, okay, yeah. So are you gonna share it? Yes. Okay, awesome. And then one final sentence. Oh, awesome. Let me know. Even if you didn't do it, just let me know, okay? Uh, give me an update. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll tell you in a minute. And 80%, 90% of the people I'd ask them to do it, they would do it. And the ones who don't, like, it's either because they couldn't or they forgot. So nobody was, like, offended ever. It's because it's all people who I helped, I gave value. So obviously, if you don't give value, you know, it's going to be harder to leverage people unless you pay them. Or, or you're really, really persuasive. So I, I would do that and then like imagine that I would get like a, a video or a post and have like 20 shares within a couple of minutes. So Facebook sees this in the algorithm and it says, whoa, this is good shit. And then it helps me get to a lot more people. And that's how every time I posted a message, I, I had a really easy time getting to a lot of people, getting you know over 2000 views on every single video I posted because I would post maybe you know twice three times a week so it was pretty easy to do that now uh, other types of leveraging when I want to find somebody and this relates to the example from the previous video called the three types of marketing where I told you about let's say you're looking for a marketer what do you do so what what do you do you you specify exactly who that person is so you say okay I'm looking and by the way you can do that with uh, if looking for a girlfriend, looking for a mate, looking for a customer, you can do that. You can do that with anything. You basically sit down and profile that person. Like, who am I looking for? So you could say, okay, I'm looking for a person who uh, maybe looks like this, acts like that. He's this years old. This is a person. His personality. These are his values. This is what he knows. For example, I'm looking for a marketer who's 20 to 35 years old, who has a lot of experience, who's very open-minded, who's really confident who would uh, really love to take an agreement like a 15% off of my business for the sake of being my marketing guy for free basically, except for the commissions. And, um, and that's the guy he is. And now you ask, okay, where, does this, where do people like that congregate? Congregate, it means to group, like fish. So where does this guy, these kinds of guys, because we were talking about a type, where do these guys congregate? Now, whether you have the answer or not, uh, it doesn't matter because what you should do is look for people who will know the answer for you. So every time I want to know something, I'll, if, if I can't find it in a quick Google search, what I'll do is I'll leverage other people's knowledge to know. So instead of, so I'm always asking how can I leverage other people to help me with what I want. Because when you leverage other people, you can get shit done 10 times faster and 10 times more efficiently. So I'd ask myself, for example, okay, I, wanna, I want to meet, uh, to meet people like this. 
I want to know where do these people congregate because one of them is going to say yes. So I take an activity like, okay, searching for this kind of guy and I use other people's knowledge. I leverage that to get to that guy. So I'll basically ask 10, 20 people, hey, uh, do you know where people like this congregate? I did this when I was a coach uh, in Israel with uh, a bunch of guys who actually were almost pretty much virgins. And I just told them to prof profile their perfect girl and literally call people and ask them, hey man, or hey, hey girl, friend, <laughs> uh, I'm looking for a girl who's like this you know that this is her type this is how she talks do you know anybody like that and can and if you do can you hook me up with her and they did that and they all did that with either text messaging or calling and it actually worked like they re reached to a situation where they actually had like three four dates a week because that's what happens when you contact you know 200 people uh, you're going to get answers so always try to leverage people like always ask yourself how like whenever you have an activity something you need to do uh, ask yourself how can I get other people to do that like let's say for example you want to pay for something but you forgot your credit card at home um, or for example your phone so you can't even do a wire uh, so then okay no that's a bad example but, but let's say for the sake of argument like you can't pass money around so you can for example how can I leverage oh I can call a friend of mine and ask him to do it for me and then I'll pay him back or pretty much anything, you know, you want to get someplace uh, instead of being like, oh, you know, I have a car or I don't have a car, so I'm fucked. Oh, ask yourself, who do I know that can get me there? Or who, how can I leverage people to help me get there? Uh, you're trying to walk someplace. It's a long walk. How can I leverage people? Oh, I can ask people to, to hike me. Uh, pretty much anything. You know, I want to get more clients. How do I get that? Oh, just leverage people to tell you about people they know who could be good clients. You can always leverage like that. So whenever you're um, confronted with an activity, um, now you don't have to do this all the time, but you kind of want to start going in that direction if you want to be a boss in life, not just a, you know, a, a regular entrepreneur. Um, always ask yourself, like, how do I... Who can help me do this? Who can do this for me? Um, how can I leverage people to help me with this? And really treat every activity you do like that. And you'll find that you do things in a fifth or tenth of the time, but with much more productivity. And most of the time you don't need to pay people for that. But again, even if you do, um, I gave examples of basically using equity. For example, you have a business, you make uh, you know $1,000 per sale, you make this many sales right now you leverage other people with equity by telling telling them like hey look I'll give you 15% of the profits if you just help me market so if I get to five times more people than now I'll happily give you 15% of the profits because let's say that your business again makes a thousand dollars a sale and right now you're making five sales a month that's five thousand dollars now do you rather have a hundred percent of five thousand dollars or would you rather have 85% of $25,000 because a marketer helps you get to five times more people. So by diluting your business, by actually giving percents to people, you can actually leverage them on a very, very high level. And because they're invested in succeeding in basically your business working, they're actually, you know, they're not paid by time. They're not paid by, by effort, which is fucking stupid. Um, they, they're going to be very, 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 very motivated to make sure that you grow because their your growth is their growth so that's just my thoughts on leveraging i know i cover this topic really really um um generally so let me know if you have any specific questions let me know if you need help with that if you're kind of a solo solopreneur <laughs> um, i can help you make the most of that and actually get much more performance out of it and again, just leave me a comment if you like the video and definitely subscribe if you haven't. So I do coaching as you probably are aware at this point. If you need help, you know, just contact me. I do a free coaching call. I can, 100% of my coaching calls are life changing and um, I'd love to help you. I really, really do. So thanks for watching. See you soon. That's my five videos for the day. Bye-bye. <laughs>